Tonight belongs to you. Your choices guide the path on our election night in the midst of a crisis in Nunavut's capital. And it's not just ensuring access to clean water. The next government will have to make crucial decisions about housing, reconciliation, tradition, language, and our home, the land, on the front lines of climate change. 22 ngayon na waktaw si mayot, mana iksipakatang niyang mata, akiksipakatang lutik nung nabot si bunik sa ngane. 22 elected officials will sit right here, making key decisions for the future of the territory. 58 ngayon na waktaw si mayot, ibin, akiksipakatang kikot, malagaliw si mga mangata. Of the 58 candidates, you will decide who will face those challenges. Nunavut Nirwakpo. This is Nunavut Votes. Tunga Sukhiarati Takung Naktu Sigur Nami Twin Nalok Televisa Kur Karasawi Tigur Kanu Twin Nalunala Tikur Nala Kutsi Udluik 35 Takwa Nirwakik Sauna Atok Simalaman. Ama suli taman na nubang nakjua galok suli atok tilu ni imalag tilu ta taman ay kalung ni uno kiko nuna bukawa mangong niya mga ata kaya niya tukod ubang ajuan na aba taman ay katig niya tasi ama tau si bisig tuyuin ta ko uno yok ta ko pibalay tilu wit na isak tau yun kaya katang niya mata ama ukat ka pagluto kanutuin na lok uno yong Good evening. After a historic 35-day campaign taking place during a pandemic and a water crisis in Iqaluit tonight, we find out who will make up Nunavut's next government. Hello, I'm Joanna Ava, and for the next several hours, our CBC News team is here, ready to bring you all the twists and turns as the results can come in, and I'm sure it's going to be very interesting. Toby Utak, Nick Murray, and Jackie McKay, man, now you're talking about doing now what the man is calling me unnukut. Tem unno yok tag ko tu sa bigat katang nyer tigo ang major din kunik man at win na ng mingman at win na katang nyer lunil unno tag ko na isak tower day yut kikut ng wak tower day ang mga ata tano ko sa katang nyer mat man naglug tano Jordan mo utang nyer luwak tigon Toby Utik Utak Nick Murray and Jackie McKay are standing by and will be out across the capital throughout the night and Jordan Kunik will be your very special man as he's standing by in our newsroom with the results which have just started coming in. We'll return to Jordan in a moment. Tunggu suki ti tak kuat aksualuk tema unu yok temane katigine katigon. And tonight we would like to introduce you to two people that are you are going to be familiar with this evening, who will be providing analysis throughout the night. We have former Liberal MP Nancy Karatak Lindell. Welcome, Nancy. Thank you. And former Premier of Nunavut Park Ukalik. Thank you and welcome. Thank you to you both for coming here. First of all, Nancy, what are you watching for tonight? Well, it's a, a very exciting moment. Um, I'm looking to see who's going to be elected, considering five are already acclaimed, so you know you have those five. Who's going to supplement them? Who's going to be elected? Are we seeing new faces? Do we see some of the old ones coming back? So it'll be interesting to see what makes up. We will have a number of guests join us throughout the evening because of the pandemic. Only a few will appear in person, just so you know. And even before tonight, we knew who the five MLAs that were acclaimed. Mm -hmm. 
Utternelle Million. That also includes Arvet South, where there was uh, acclamation there for Joseph Gattar, premier in the last government. He'll be returning to the legislature. Tana Joseph Gattar, after sort out in the group, Matisse Harvimon, Kaudigal or Labon. Elected MLAs that come into play. Man, now you're talking to Jordan Kunik. Can we link up with the other people? Let's go to Jordan Kunik. I'm sure you're waiting to see what the results are. Jordan? I Joanna Taco at a park was a kick up to low, kick up to low, Tangani, Agumineroa, Kimalek Miyu, Tang Nerwa, Tauyo, Joanna Quasa, ninety six Nut Nerwa, Tau Suni, a kick up to in Electroni, Agumit, Amihuni, Kauraya, to Kulini, Mitu Salakunu, eighty six Nut Nerwa, Tau Lauto. And now for Agu, where a park was a uh, was representing Agu for a very long time. It will now be Joanna Kwasa with 96 uh, votes. Joanna Kwasa, who will be um, representing the Agu rep riding with uh, leads of 10 votes. Uh, next being Matusala Kunu with 86 votes. Uh, back to you, Joanna. Jordan, Tana Jordan, and uh, it's also wonderful to have a guest this evening. The uh, joining us now live in the studio uh, with the former MLA for Hudson Bay, Alan Rumbold, uh, because that because the fact that Sertan Salak Sakto Hudson Bay me Jordan, we know that Dan Okavik has won in Alan Rumbolt's riding of Hudson Bay, and you have some new results. Joanna Nutang, Nina Hakta, Himalik, me unit, Ekaluit Sinamut, Negwakta, Himalik to Tamna, Janet Brewster, Kigaktui Yigiyao Nelek, Luni Ekaluit Sina, Tamna Councillor Ila Katimayo Katao to Sidi Kutnut, Ekalungni. For Ekaluitsina, we have Janet Brewster who has been elected to represent Ekaluitsina with a lead of seven, uh, the next being Jeff Maurice, and the third, uh, Krista Kunuk, with 75 <laughs> votes. And for Ekaluit Tasiluk, Tamnali Ekaluit Tasiluk, Uteng Nelek took George Hicks, 265 Nut Nerwak Tao Minister Giyo Takatao Himayok Maligalok Wing Me. Tamna 132 ni amihune kaugaya tuni negwa taoyo jubliya nga tamna ekalui tasilung mit James Arak 133 nut negwa tao tuni amatana pingayugaya nga Michael Salamoni 81 nut negwa tao tuni tamna tao ekalui tasilung mut uk to katawala to Jonathan Park Park. For Ekalui Tasiluk, we have George Hicks uh, going back to the Legislative Assembly with 265 votes. Former uh, minister and uh, the outgoing minister, George Hicks has been re-elected. He will be going back to the Legislative Assembly with a lead of 132 votes. The next being James Arach with 133 votes. The third being Michael Salomoni with 81 votes. 
in Jonathan Park with uh, 41 votes. Jordan. Thank you very much, Jordan. Very interesting results coming out and uh, some returning. We'll keep an eye out for that for the rest of the evening. It's just getting exciting. Residents in Baker Lake held a protest outside of the Elder Center on Saturday. They want the Elder Center reopened at least for emergency use. Residents are reporting that some of their elderly loved ones are leaving in the middle of the night. Here's Teresa Ketsuk. And just we got a word now that for the writing of Agu, there won't be a requirement for a recount. Just heard it right at the moment. So Joanna Kwasa is declared elect for the writing of Agu, and we'll certainly uh, get a lot more of that from Jordan Kunik this evening. As we mentioned earlier, we know the winner in Iqaluit Manarayak is Adam Arek Lightstone has been re-elected tonight. Adam Arek Lightstone, uh, as we just heard, was re-elected. Adam Lightstone. CBC Adam Lightstone a E, hi, Toana. How are you, Toby? We're good. It's a little breezy, but it's okay. It's not as cold as last year. All right. So you're out there. You'll be speaking with um, Adam Lightstone. Yeah, I am.